The event we have today is the marble jump. Two marbles from each team will jump as far as they can. Each marble will have one jump. Whichever marble does better will have its score count for its team. The teams with the highest scores will earn medals. Representing the Red Goombas, first up we have Spot and Lava. Here we go. That was Spot. And next up, we have Lava. About the same distance there. Spot ended up scoring a very respectable 37 and a half inches, but Lava was actually able to beat that score with 38 and a half inches. That's going to be a very tough score to beat. Next up, we have the Blue Ballers. First up is Sky. And after Sky, we have Aqua. They bump into each other, that is allowed. Doesn't look like they're gonna be as good as the Red Goombas though. Sky only ended up scoring 32 and a half inches and Aqua wasn't able to catch the Red Goombas with only a score of 34 inches. We have the Sea Monsters. Representing them first will be Little Bird. An absolutely pathetic run from Little Bird, but let's see if Green Ocean can make up for it. Nope. Little Bird had a terrible score of 24 and a half inches, while Green Ocean was only able to hit 30 inches. And next up, we have the Banana Bombers. First up is Banana. And following Banana, we have Sweden. Solid run there. Will it be enough to overtake the Red Goombas and try and get their second gold medal in a row? Banana ended up with a respectable score of 34 and a half inches, but Sweden did not catch the Red Goombas, but still had a good score of 37 and a half inches. Next up, we have the Nature Warriors. Representing them first will be Bengal. Not a good start. Not what they looked. Not what they be looking for. I say not what they be looking for. But that's okay because now we got Bug. Well, that's too bad for them. Bengal only had a score of 27 and a half inches, and Bug could not make up for it, only scoring 31 inches. Not what the Nature Warriors were looking for. Now we have the Great Balls of Fire. First up, Dark Moon. Looks like a solid run from up here. Now we have Viking. Terrible. Dark Moon had a very good score of 37 and a half inches. Viking was unable to beat that, only scoring 30 inches, but that puts the Great Balls of Fire in a good spot. We have the Sweet Treats. First up is Ice Cream. One off a little bit to the side there. Now we have Creamsicle. Not a great run from Creamsicle there. Ice Cream was able to score 36 inches while Creamsicle was only able to score 29 and a half inches. Unfortunately for the sweet treats, that's not going to get the job done. Last but not least, we have the Psychic Spots. Here goes Earth. Alrighty then. Now... The last marble, Falcon. Slightly better than Earth. Earth was only able to score 30 and a half inches, and Falcon scored 32 and a half inches. Not a good score from either of them. So we ended up having a tie for second place between the Great Balls of Fire and the Banana Bombers. So. Whoever wins this sudden death matchup between Sweden and Dark Moon will take home the silver, the loser will take home the bronze. First up, we have Sweden. Solid run, but can Dark Moon beat it? This is for the silver. No. Sweden was able to bring home the silver for the Banana Bombers with a score of 36 and a half inches, while Dark Moon was only able to score 28 inches. Congratulations to the Red Goombas for capturing their first gold medal of this championship.
They move into second place behind the Banana Bombers who took silver in this event with five points. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We still have three more events to go before we crown a champion. So don't forget to like and subscribe for more.